The rumble of earth-moving equipment formed the backdrop to a desperate last attempt at stopping the Chapman's Peak Toll Plaza construction on Monday. Representatives from Hangberg, Hotbay and Emizamu Yetu, who opposed the project, met next to the construction site in order to plot the way forward. Our sentiment is that we are utterly disgusted Nerebin, that they're going ahead with this development while there's no consent that's been given from any of our people to say that we want the toll get here. Members of the Civil Rights Action Group say there are alternative methods of collecting the toll which would have less of an impact on the natural beauty of the mountain. Yeah, no, we're just extremely disappointed, you know, that we feel that the, uh, the government, local government here, has completely ignored all our complaints, all our wishes, and it's a steamroller in the head. Now, we're not in essence against the fact that we have to pay toll, but we are vehemently against the building of a private office and toll station on our mountain, which is like essentially, instead of treading lightly, it's like an elephant walking over the mountain. The 53 million rand development will see an office block and new toll plaza take shape just off the road, should permission be granted to incorporate Sandparks land. They've been working on the road for a long time and they do keep it up, but it's still, it's unnecessary to build a, a two-story tall toll plaza here in the middle of everything for a private company when all they want to do is collect tolls. The Civil Rights Action Group says it is obtaining legal advice in an attempt to get an interdict to bring construction to a halt. Aleta Gardner, Eyewitness News, Chapman's Peak.